Chapter 3 from Ulysses by James Joyce Proteus Stephen Dedalus is walking on Sandy Mount Strand. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. Ineluctable modality of the visible, at least that if no more, thought through my eyes. Signatures of all things I am here to read, sea spawn and sea rack, the nearing tide, that rusty boot. Snot green, blue silver, rust, coloured signs, limits of the diaphane, but he adds, in bodies. Then he was aware of them bodies before them coloured. How? By knocking his sconce against them, sure. Go easy. Bald he was, and a millionaire. Maestro di color che sano. Limit of the diaphane in. Why in? Diaphane, add diaphane. If you can put your five fingers through it, it is a gate. If not, a door. Shut your eyes and see. Stephen closed his eyes to hear his boots crush crackling rack and shells. You're walking through it howsomever. I am, astride at a time, a very short space of time through very short times of space. Five, six, the knock I nander. Exactly. And that is the ineluctable modality of the audible. Open your eyes. No! Jesus! If I fell over a cliff that beetles o'er his base, fell through the nay benign ander ineluctably, I am getting on nicely in the dark. My ash sword hangs at my side. Tap with it. They do. My two feet in his boots are at the end of his legs. Naben ein ander. Sounds solid. Made by the mallet of Los Demiurgos. Am I walking into eternity on Sandy Mount Strand? Crush. Crack. Crick. Crick. Wild sea money. Domini DC Kenzema. Won't you come to Sandy Mount, Madeline the Mare? Rhythm begins, you see. I hear. A cataleptic tetrameter of I am's marching. No, a gallop. Dillin the Mare. Open your eyes now. I will. One moment. Has all vanished since. If I open and am forever in the black a diaphane, basta. I will see if I can see. See now. There all the time without you. And ever shall be. World without end. <laughs>